dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. <laughs> Welcome to Clocktown, the central hub of Majora's Mask. One of my favorite areas in all of gaming, actually. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman. Wait, no. Sorry. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that'll, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy in there. And I see a flower. And it's golden. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold all of my wares. And the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up a shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her, to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. That's <laughs> Everyone here talks weird. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deck of flower included. I got nothing, bro. Do you have one? You're a deck of scrub, so you know just how convenient a deck of flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another deck of scrub. The early scrub gets the nut. As you say, sir. But, uh, like Tattle said, we should be heading off to North Clocktown. And I have a very innate sense of direction, so I know for a fact that this is North Clocktown. Uh, for a second I thought the banner wasn't going to show up and it was going to make a fool out of me. You there. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle, and I am the same as you, a forest fairy. Actually, I'm trying to remember the funny voice I gave him in practice. Alas, son of uh, Alas, I'm already aged 35. I am... Oh my gosh, my accents are horrible. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle's the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help with my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. Oh, I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? And Clockfall's map? Clockfall. I just mix the two maps. Clocktown's map is very useful. Now you can find a way around Clocktown. And that's really what it's for. Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. I'm gonna be so bad. There's so many voices in this game. There's no way I'm going to be able to remember all the stupid accents I give people. Okay, 38 rupees. Oh. Uh, sir? I don't want anything from you, Tingle. I was just trying to spin. I was just trying to spin. You don't need to do magic words. I didn't buy anything. Oh my goodness. I was just trying to spin. I was not talking to you. Yeah. That's, that's one of the problems with the Deku Scrub. Really, in my mind, the only problem. Well, and the fact that he's a bit of a lightweight. But the Deku Scrub is actually probably my favorite form in this game, to be honest. But you refund the fairy's fountain. And... Oh no, the Great Fairy. Yeah, as far as I know, that is not what a Great Fairy looks like. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked school kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. I could do that, but I saw a Deku flower outside. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go flower it up. And actually, the uh, the Deku Flower is how you get to a mini game, and it's a mini game that I do not particularly like. Um, so I really want to get it out of the way these first three days. So that's what I'll be doing. And down the hole we go. This is the Deku Playground. I actually didn't read the sign on accident. And here we are. How about it? Will the young one play? 
One game is 10 rupees. I'll play. All right then, use this deck of flower and have fun. If the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below just once, it's over. The best time for today's game is one minute and 15 seconds. Get all the rupees faster, get all the rupees faster than that. Okay, burrow into the Deku flower. The game begins the moment you jump out. This is the simplest mini game, well, in the game, and I am awful at it. Uh, the first day is technically the easiest, but I'm bad at all of them. If I fail, I'll probably be cutting out other attempts. And I'm not talking a lot because I'm concentrating because I'm bad at this. Oh, that was... <laughs> this one is definitely the easiest, but I'm still not very good at it. Need to wait till we reach the apex. And luckily this one goes higher up than the others, so it's easier to get further. Yeah, we can get back to the first platform, and we have 15 seconds to do it, or 10 seconds. Yeah, I don't think time is really going that fast. Oh, come on! Wait, it's a new record? <laughs> I think I broke the game. <laughs> but it's right, my face is beaming because I thought I lost. <laughs> wow. Hmm, Link, that's a strange name for a Deku Scrum. If you can, come by again tomorrow. Oh my gosh. This here's the an accurate description. My face is beaming. I am actually ec ecstatic that I beat it on my first try. Uh, based on how much I usually suck at that game and how much I really hate it. So, like the Great Fairy said, there's one lost Stray Fairy in all of Clock Town and... I remember the first time I played this game, I had no clue, no clue, because I had no idea that the laundry pool existed, because I had no clue that Tingle sold maps. So as a result, I could never find this place. I found the fairy, this thing, on the third day in East Clock Town. Please hear my plea, the mask skull has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Yep. Also, just something to note, the Deku Scrub hops across water, which I actually really love. One of my favorite things about the Deku Scrub. Uh, but seriously, it took me forever to find the fairy as a child. I was not very good at this game. I, I legitimately think it took me more than four tries, more than five tries to beat the first cycle of three days, which is just embarrassing. Let me go grab the money over here because, you know, money is money. And I'm at 95 rupees already. Pretty impressive. Tingle? I swear. Luckily. <laughs> shut up, Tingle. Luckily, as soon as we come back out from the fairy's fountain, Tingle will be flying. I know that because I'm clairvoyant. But here we have the last stray fairy to complete a great fairy. And all these small, funny looking uh, sprite fairies turn into one funny looking great fairy. Ugh. Tattle, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Man, those are some crazy drugs. Make a, they make me see green bars out of nowhere. And now... We stretch. And obviously stretching is the key to magic. You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. 
Alliteration's pretty great. Uh, and he takes magic power to use bubbles, so little jars will replenish that. The man who lives in the obs no, sorry. The man who lives in the observatory outside of the town may know of the where may know of the school kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, kind young one. If you ever are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Good to know, I think. But yep, now we can shoot bubbles. Which is helpful for some reason. Luckily, I know the exact reason. We need to shoot this, because that kid's trying to pop it. We just need to show him how cool we are by popping with, you know, snot bubbles. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Derp. Poor kid. And luckily, I know where each of them are. It's not much of a game of hide and seek as much so much as it is tag. And being a deck of makes it so much easier and so much more graceful. Also, let's top off our rubies. Rubies. Rupees. 99 rupees. Man, this is early in the game. We already have the full wallet. I'll we'll have to find somewhere to offload this cash. Ah, oh, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Yep. Honestly, this <laughs> this gave me about as much trouble as the uh, stray fairy did my first playthrough. And luckily, since we're just seeing this place for the first time while playing hide and seek, we see where the two bombers are. But welcome to East Clocktown. The um, what district is this? In West Clocktown is the business district, and. I completely forgot. You can shoot him, and uh, he'll drop the chicken, the cuckoo, and fall down. But actually, I'm pretty sure it's a lot easier if you just uh, chase him down, because the chicken does not, cuckoo does not go go very fast. I call, I always call them chickens, um, on my like when I'm playing on my own time, because I think it's funny because I know they're called cuckoos. Oh, don't fall down! Don't 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 talk to that guard. I, okay, there's only one left. Yeah, they do this annoying thing where they get behind the guards and the guards block you. Also, if you want to leave, um, you know, I'll just show it. If you want to leave, just sneak by this guard. And if you backstep at a certain angle, you can get this terminal field. However, we're not supposed to be here, so it's kind of creepy out here. No music, just a slight static in the background. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I will, however... Be heading over to West Clocktown, where we can find the third bomber. And also, there's a heart piece up there just taunting us up. Oh. Dog. I don't like that dog. But, this is West Clocktown, also known as the Business District. Uh, yeah, there's lots of, lots of fun stuff up here. But, most importantly for now, there is, well, one, a bomber, and two, this lady, or this guy. I always think of her as a lady, and I always call her Jazz Hands. And uh, nowadays, even if you, oh, nowadays, if, you, if people even have money, they don't deposit any, nothing. So, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So, what will it be? Alright, so... And, I know, I know, connotation, but 69 rupees is a good amount to deposit because I have 30 left for the Deku Playground on the other days. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stand with my special Link. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks, and it's not going to hurt. It sounded like hurt. There, now I'll know you when I see you again. All right, little guy. Now I've got you. Now I've got a total of six nine rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save a bunch. Thanks, Jazz Hands. Ah, I was gonna see if I could catch the bomber before the night of the first day, 
but I could not. I had the first date, 60 hours remaining, but we got him. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were a human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Guess not. Once we let in, once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? The code is four one three five two. I'm actually going to write that down because we will need it later in the game. Four one three five two. That is a very ugly three that I wrote. All right, good to know. Also, this code is randomly generated every time, which is actually pretty cool. Um, uh, only once have I ever seen it uh, generate as one, two, three, four, five. It was a glorious day.